Hello, in this session we will talk about starting the Linux virtual machine and signing into the system. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. So this is a broad picture. We have downloaded and installed virtual machine software on our personal computer. We have downloaded virtual machine appliance for Linux and we have also imported it into the virtual machine software and now we are ready to start our virtual machine first time. So we are at step number six, start virtual machine. To start the Linux virtual machine, just fire up your Oracle virtual box software and the virtual machine is already selected since this is the only machine there. Click on the start button. Next you will see a message related to the mouse, how the mouse will appear when you are inside the virtual machine console as opposed to how it will appear when you are outside the console. So simply click OK and before clicking OK you might want to select this checkbox so that you don't see this message again and again. At this point the virtual machine has been started and now we can go to step number seven that is to log in into the Linux system. Once the boot is completed you will finally see this login screen from the Linux and this will appear within this console window that popped up when you started the machine. So anything happening within this console window is happening on the Linux virtual machine. Anything happening outside this window is from your actual host computer. Now the system is asking you to provide the username. In order to log in, you have to log in as a user, just like how you do that on Windows. Now the system is asking you to enter the username to log in. Just like Windows, on Linux you also have users and password for the users. So click in the console window. So once you have bring the focus within the console window, to take the focus out you need to click on the right control key as you can see here or just click anywhere outside the console window using your mouse otherwise the focus of the keyboard will remain inside the console window so inside the console window is your Linux machine outside the console window is your host computer we will log in as a mint user once we are in the system then we can change the user to root root is the most powerful user on Linux and it has the most privileges so we will do all sorts of tasks once we log in okay so now I'm going to enter the user mint enter and the password mint as well in lowercase username and password both are in lowercase Linux is a case sensitive operating system so in few minutes you will see the desktop for Linux within the console window so we have successfully installed the Linux virtual machine on our computer and now we can use Linux for various purposes including learning. Once you are finished using Linux you should shut the machine down so that resources are available to the main computer. Since this is not a mission critical system you can shut the machine down by clicking on this close window icon for the console window. Once you do the click you will see this menu popping up. You can shut it down forcefully by choosing power of the machine. Since this is a training system, that's fine. In worst case, you can rebuild the machine if something happens. Or more proper shutdown would be send the shutdown signal to the operating system and it will shut down itself. Or you can just take the machine to the sleep mode. You can save the machine state. So next time you bring it on, it will start from the same point where you left it it's not going to go through the same boot process. All these options will work fine. Option one is preferred sometimes when you are in the middle of the work and you want to leave so you can save the state of the machine next time when you connect you see exactly the same screen where you left off. So I'm going to just show you that option, click OK. Now in few seconds you'll be back to the main Oracle VirtualBox screen and you can see the status of the machine as saved. Next time you want to use the Linux environment again simply click on start and 
you will be back to where you left off.